Hi, long time no see, all the audience of Figure Talk. Yeah, this is Brian No from Toys TV. Um, yeah, this is a long time uh, I didn't do some uh, unbox videos, unbox program for in English. Uh, actually, um, we have to spend some more times for the English audience. Uh, yes, I, we understand that, we know that, and so that's why we we start the Figure Talk again. Yeah. Um, but uh, not every collectibles be unboxed here will be figured. But sometimes is vehicle. Yeah. This time we are going to do um, a review in English for for the new line from Watersons. Uh, but it's the old series. Force of Wheelers. Yeah, actually, uh, I think many many uh, vehicle or many um, tank or models collectors know the name of Force of Wheelers, but uh, it has been acquired by another company called Watersons, and actually they they use the old uh, original brand name uh, of Force of Wheelers, but actually they did a lot of new R and D, and as I know, uh, they even make some new mode for all the vehicles. They are going to produce. So this is a complete new line of fossil fillers from Watersons. Yeah. So this is completely new. But okay, let's go to the unbox. Okay, here we go. The British Fry Fry Sherman. Actually, this is a World War Two British tank, uh, like a variant of a U.S. Sherman tank. Yeah, I think uh, most uh, World War II collectors should know that. And let's have a look on the box art of for the various new items, this Sherman Fry Fry. And this is actually a product shot, and uh, not a, any illustration or not any CG graphic, but it's a real photo shot of the product. You can also see the logo of diecast metal. That means uh, some of the uh, parts and accessories are made of metals. Okay, and you can see this is uh, engine details of this vehicles, and I'll show you later. And it is one to thirty-two scale. Actually, this is uh, from a new company, Watersons Industries Holdings Limited. There's some real pictures from World War Two of the Sherman Fry Fry. After removing this we could see a window box a with a plastic bristle window box display so it's clearly showed how details is the final product is selling uh, when you remove the tank from the box you will see there's two plastic plus here this integral with the base this base is also made of ABS plastic. ABS plastic. So it's very strong enough to pull, to protect the tank and protect the products. And there is a very simple but clear instruction sheet of how to assemble, you know, on a fuel pump, how to assemble the tank. So actually this is 95% of complete product. I mean, it's all painted or assembled only except some tiny parts actually i removed some of the tiny parts already because it is so funny to have them displayed and i'll show you I had to say, uh, Watertons is very good. They provide a very good plastic ABS base. You know, it is a costly parts of the product. They can use polystone, or they can use PVC, or they even they can even use simply uh, paper. But they use plastic ABS. 
because they have to make a steel mold to make this kind of diorama base but uh, actually this is good for uh, use with the metal parts tanks and at the same time it is more details you know very good painting job so I think uh, I'm very happy with them to use this plastic ABS diorama base uh, it is the same happened in um, the first in the series is a uh, 88mm Frank gun from German World War II and um, they use also a plastic base uh, okay after removing the tank from the diorama brace I'd like to show you exactly what exactly showing from the products looks a real like a soil or clay or ground so after removing some you know the four screw from the diorama here and there's another transparent plastic part to hold the tank and you, you can remove it uh, as you want but uh, I'm here not to going to do so to look at the tank it looks very right to scale for myself I didn't measure dimensions of a 142 scale tank but uh, it looks very close to some you know finished model kits and you can see all the small painted accessory can be used so uh, let's see the paint job first I have really low doubts and complaint about the quality of the paint job yeah. they have a uh, uh, model modelist experts to help them to make the master the paint master but after that you know many many many, many company they they test to you know make a very good master paint master but when they go to final products or production products it looks completely different things and so they Watson did some great job and you know I think it's also not easy job in formulating their production procedures so it makes a final product looks like a real hand paint tank model kits from a hobbyist as far as I can see and as far as I I understand so uh, for this price uh, for myself you know this is a very variable I mean I mean very you know reasonable price with this kind of paint job quality scale details you know even with some metal parts yeah not every part is metal but the barrels the gun barrels is metal parts it's good you know we all understand that if we use ABS PVC it would be easier to be broken or fragile or even sometimes um, the barrel will be banded after paint job from the productions so they carefully uh, choose gun barrel in metal parts so you can see all the decals details are already are already on you don't have to worry anything about the paint jobs so it is already ready to play with or ready to show it with your shoulder yeah the only things to consider is you know the scale they are 1 to 32 scale instead of the very common scale of 1 to 35 scale but uh if you are if you if you don't mind you can use 145 scale figures to use with this series and you see uh, most of the terror hatch is functional certainly I won't expect a uh, you know a top grade paint job but you know from a production night like a general products they already did outstanding paint jobs uh, for production night it is already very good yeah I know you guys hobbyists or, or specialists can do much better paint jobs but I think is I accept this quality you know for this price you know so if you want to uh, collect more figures I suggest you to buy the first in the series this is a German Frank gun 
it including maybe seven or eight figures in one set so it's very worth to collect but uh you know most people like to collect tanks you know strapman tiger t34 is2 pencil 4 etc but um including less figures but i think this is a good strategy for fossil figures to do so you know this is a matter of cost of production but you can see the turret the details of the turret has also been addressed you can see this is like a battle battle one effect You know, when you go to the tank museum, you could see similar things in at the tank terrace. The scale, you see the even the details. You know the joint parts of different metal pace of of the tank also being addressed. <laughs> I will do something to explain this part later. And luckily, the wheels cannot be movable. But you know, we are not playing brakes or playing some, you know, toy kids' toys. So I think the details, the accuracy, and paint job is more important than the functions. Now I'm going to show you something even we forgot to do in the Cantonese Chinese versions of the unbox of this few weeks ago. Yeah. The engines can be opened and you can see all the details of the engines here. Whoa, beautiful. That is very kind of them to, to, to make this happen. You know, it is not necessary parts of a, you know, of a mass product, I think. So for the freighters by the water sense, I think they, they just try to do something in between collectibles and mass products. You know, this part also can be movable to put the gun barrels on so we can do like this when the tanks are on transition okay even the figure hands is batch matching to do a right gestures with the turret hatch. You now all tiny accessories can be put on the tank the way you want. All the accessories are in PVC, so the shape is not too sharp enough, but it is good for production and you know lower the cost. So I think they are very careful to, to, to decide which material to best suit different parts of the set. So the turret is can be rotated completely. 360 degrees the turret the barrels can be turned up and down like the real model kits for the retractions of the track at the front wheel water sense do a very good job to remedy the problems to address the problem so first of all they send me this little plastic bag and there is a QR code I'll show you what happened after that. So you can imagine if we put this parts uh, on the wheels, the front wheel, the track won't be retract anymore. Um, I tell you what happened with this um, track because they are 
made of uh, PVC plastic you can say this is soft plastic so uh, after uh, they did a paint job on the reel and the track and uh, the paint the chemical reaction for the paint uh, happened and it make the track retract and you make the PVC track to retract so if we have something in between the track and the wheel inside uh, the track won't be retract anymore um, when we scan this QR code provided from Watersons, uh, there is a YouTube video showing how to replace or fix the problem of this retraction track. And but but I I will try to show you here as well. So no worry here. I can easily put it back so I do the track here now we have to use some force because this is PVC and we use the elasticity of the track and to remove the track completely from the wheel so I'm almost done some people are saying that you can use hair dryer yeah but uh, the, the, but the videos official video didn't use so I, I do the same here so it's working it's working it's easily to remove the elast elastic track and then we put this part on it's not clear enough but if you want to see more clear enough you can see the official videos on YouTube but I show you that uh, it means we can really fix it by yourself. Yes, the wheels has been installed. So you 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 could imagine what happened. The track won't retract anymore, or maybe at least in a better position or better gesture. So we put the track back. Yeah, don't don't afraid. You have to use some firm hand and force to put the track back we have no choice but it is not too difficult yeah I succeed okay actually the wheel won't move but uh, the track is elastic enough yeah so you can compare it much much better this one not fixed yet this one fixed it but anyway the problem can be fixed easily I just did it once this is the first time I do it here in front of the video so it's not difficult okay okay I succeed with the second track as well yeah so easy and the problem fricks yeah and it's so kind I mean it's resp responsible for for what doesn't to send this pack to, to me I think uh, they also sent this pack or include this pack in every single product of this Sherman Five Fry so finish uh -oh. The That's the end facts. of this program. I and hope you can enjoy go this. The tiger. Brilliant night. I I personally think that the light is, you know, with pretty good quality, maybe high quality with a very reasonable price. For Watson to provide oh, sure, this light. I, hope and I wish they can continue to light to make all the Tiger one. Pencil for Sherman uh, Soviet tank of us to the market. Okay, thank you for watching this figure talk. We are we are figure talk from Toy TV. My name is Brian No, and kindly please subscribe my own channel or Facebook, YouTube of Toy TV and Brian No. And thanks for watching. And your support is really important. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you guys soon. Bye bye.